Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 8th of 2023 well, it is titled M100, a grand design spiral galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is Messier 100, the 100th object in Mess Charles Messier's catalog, looking and identifying objects in the sky that were not stars. And at the time in the 1700s, it's not known exactly what each of them were. Some of them turned out to be star clusters. Some turned out to be galaxies and some turned out to be nebulae. So while they were a number of different things, they were all extended objects through the telescope that could have been, could have been mistaken for a comet. Now M100 is what we call a grand design spiral galaxy because of its majestic spiral arms and almost perfect structure as we look at it. And we're not seeing a lot of distortions that we sometimes see with spiral galaxies when they are interacting with other galaxies and become distorted. However, that does not mean that M100 has never interacted with another galaxy, simply that any time it did must have been so long ago that it has had time to settle back down and look like an ordinary spiral again. Now we see the distinct blue in the spiral arms in this Hubble Space Telescope image. Those are from gas clouds. Now those gas clouds are compressed as they move into the spiral arms. Spiral arms act kind of as a cosmic traffic jam slowing things down and bunching them up and compressing those gas clouds beginning star formation and those stars the most massive ones form very quickly and form and actually die before this the cloud has a chance to leave that spiral arm so that's why we have these bright blue clusters all around the spiral arms where these stars have currently formed they don't live a very long time but they are very massive and very bright and stand out and highlight the spiral arms that we see we also see a lot of dust lanes scattered around as well. The dust again is areas where stars are just beginning to form and likely areas that will compress down and eventually become part of the blue in the spiral arm where star formation is just beginning to occur. So we see both of those and those are both associated with star formation when we look at spiral galaxies like this one. Now when you move further in you note that there's less and less blue and that it becomes more of a yellow color. When you get to the inner portion of the spiral galaxy it becomes dominated by the light of red giant stars stars that have evolved and they become some of the brightest stars and that yellows the light a little bit mixing the blue light from stars that have recently formed with the red light of very old stars giving us sort of a yellowish color as we move down towards towards the central portion of the galaxy here. So that was our picture of the day for April 8th of 2023. It was titled M100, a grand design spiral galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Egg. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.